Have you ever wondered how some Indians are achieving financial independence at an early age? This question has surely crossed many minds, and today, we're here to explore just that. Financial independence, a state where one's personal wealth can sustain their lifestyle without the need for employment, is becoming an increasingly popular goal among Indians. In our quest to understand this phenomenon, we'll be diving into the lives of four individuals who have successfully achieved this financial milestone. Ravi Handa, the founder of Handa Kafunda, hung up his boots at 38 after amassing a fortune of nearly 7 crores. Then, we have Karan Datta, who bid adieu to Axis Mutual Fund at 48, with a substantial corpus of 18 crores. On the other end of the spectrum, we've got Sandeep Agarwal, who decided to retire at 38 when BNP Paribas shifted operations. Last, but certainly not least, Vijay Tangirala chose the path of financial freedom at 44, after being faced with a lower salary or severance pay. These individuals have not only achieved financial independence, but are also navigating their post-retirement life with strategic financial planning. Now let's delve into the fascinating stories of these individuals. Meet Ravi Handa, the founder of Handa Kafunda, who retired at 38. Handa's journey to financial independence is both intriguing and inspiring. Accumulating close to 7 crores, he chose to invest a significant chunk in equity mutual funds. His smart financial choices didn't just stop at investments. Post-retirement, Handa adopted a three-bucket approach to manage his expenses, further exemplifying his financial acumen. This approach involved splitting his expenses into three categories. Immediate expenses, short-term needs, and long-term goals. Handa's story shows us how intelligent investment can pave the way to early retirement. Next, we have Karan Data, who bid adieu to his career at Axis Mutual Fund at the age of 48. Data's financial independence was built on an impressive corpus of approximately 18 crores. This was not a one-man show. It was a well-orchestrated performance of diverse income sources, including stock options, bonuses, and a systematic investment plan. Post-retirement, Data didn't opt for a solo journey. He chose to rely on a financial advisor to navigate the complexities of managing his wealth. Data's journey emphasizes the importance of diverse income sources and professional guidance. Sandeep Agarwal, another financial maverick, retired at 38 when BNP Paribas shifted operations. This decision wasn't made on a whim. It was the result of precise planning and financial discipline. Agarwal had managed to save an astounding 100 times his annual expenses, providing a robust safety net for his early retirement. But it doesn't stop there. Now, in his post-retirement phase, his expenses are seamlessly covered by the interest and dividends from his investments. Agarwal's story highlights the role of savings and passive income for financial independence. Lastly, let's talk about Vijay Tanjirala, who opted for early retirement at 44. Unlike many, Tanjirala found himself faced with a choice of a lower salary or severance pay, and he chose financial independence. Through careful planning and smart financial decisions, he managed to accumulate a corpus that was 30 times his annual expenses, a feat that is nothing short of remarkable. After retirement, he didn't just rest on his laurels. Instead, he leveraged passive income and freelance consulting to maintain his lifestyle and fund his expenses. Tanjirala's experience shows us that adaptability and multiple income streams can secure early financial independence. So, what can we learn from these inspiring stories of financial independence? Each tale unfolds a unique approach to financial independence, yet some common threads weave them together. Intelligent investment is a cornerstone. Ravi Handa, for instance, leaned heavily on equity mutual funds. Meanwhile, Karan Data's journey was buoyed by the benefits of stock options bonuses, and a systematic investment plan. Harnessing diverse income sources and getting professional guidance, like Data did, can also play pivotal roles. Savings, too, are crucial. Sandeep Agarwal's decision to save 100 times his annual expenses underscores the power of this traditional financial wisdom. Passive income and adaptability 
like in Vijay Tangirala's case, can also be key to early retirement. He managed to retire at 44 by generating passive income and taking up freelance consulting. These stories highlight the importance of having multiple income streams and being adaptable to changing circumstances. But always remember, achieving financial independence at an early age is not impossible, as demonstrated by these four individuals. It requires planning, discipline, and the right financial strategies. Remember, the path to financial independence is unique to each one of us.